My name is Roger Ford. I am the Greenhouse Manager with the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission for Prince George's County. We oversee the growing of plants for facilities such as Bladensburg Marina, uh, our um, historic sites such as Oxen Hill Manor, Newton White Manor, Snow Hill Manor. We also provide plants for the community, um, community events we provide plants for. We um, do, um, we have a native plant program with the greenhouse now. I, I oversee the growing of the plants and everything. And I have staff, I have a staff of six um, full-time employees, one um, seasonal intermittent employee, and they basically take care of the day-to-day. -day. I'm more behind the scenes now. 20 years ago when I came into the um, Maryland National Scott Park Planning Commission, I was more hands-on because I came in as a greenhouse helper. And throughout the years, I've been promoted six different times, most recently four, four years ago to the um, lead horticulture position of the greenhouse. When I came into the Maryland National Scott Park Planning Commission, the transition wasn't hard as I am a a graduate of Gwen Park High School, class of 99. I was in the horticulture program there for three three years, and um, I moved from there straight to working with the Maryland National Park Service. I actually started working with Maryland National Park Service three days after I graduated from high school. Spring is normally our busy time. I'm in charge of managing, um, making sure all the summer crops um, get planted and my staff plants up the summer crops. We basically plant up the summer crops. They grow out from February until May. As of right now, we have poinsettias growing. We have 29, 2,900 poinsettias we're growing right now for the, for the holiday um, season. We start those in April and we're responsible for making sure that's, that's all up, kept and growing. In that. We're in a native plant program right now, so we're doing a lot more native plant um, growing, which is great for the um, for the community. So we don't have plants strangling out other other plants. We use local native plants that's native to that area to help the environment. Our old facility was built in the mid '80s. And we just moved into a brand new state art facility July of 2019. And with this facility, we have more, more control. It's more, it's more green. Everything is, everything is controllable through an app as everything is nowadays. So instead of doing bad weather, having to come, come in and check what's going on with the heater, I can open my phone, adjust the heater. I can open the roof from my phone. I can um, control the greenhouse system from my from my phone, and um, outside the greenhouse we have bio swells. We have the bio retention swells. We have the um, swells that we use the native plants for that collect the um, fertilizer and collect any runoff that um, comes um, into those swells to collect it before it goes out into the environment. We collect it and it gets sucked up in there. We also recycle our water. We have a cistern system in the ground that the water from the roof and from the greenhouse goes into this system and recycles back into the recycles back into the greenhouse. So we're re, we're actually reusing the water. For a student that would like to enter into working in the greenhouse as a manager or as a greenhouse worker, um, one of the things you would want to do is start off being in the agriculture program. Um, if your school has greenhouses, get into that um, greenhouse program. It's a great way to start out learning, learning the field and every and everything. And then, as you move on, you can come in to apply for positions at greenhouses, seasonal jobs like at the Maryland National Park Service. We hire seasonal employees at the greenhouse. So for skill-wise, for the students that would like to get into this, one of the main things I always tell people is to love plants. 
if you don't love plants or you don't like being in the heat this is not this is not something that you that you really want to you really want to um, do so if you're coming out of one of those ag programs you're going to you would have learned some of um, those steps and everything along the way and one thing I like to tell people too is to not think of it as a lot of people think of agriculture they just think of farming they also need to know that there's other things involved with agriculture such as the greenhouse for people that really don't want to do the farming aspect of it I grew up on my family farm in Upper Marlboro so either way it was going to work for me I mean it, I fell into a field where my family was doing anyway so for me it came a little more a little more natural for the um, for doing it but I would say skill wise just knowing knowing plants you know the starter level of knowing plants and loving loving plants because if you don't if you don't love plants or doing it you're not going to want to do it because it takes it it's a lot more work to it than than a lot of people think. A lot of people think, oh, you, you play with plants. You get to water plants and play with plants and be around them all day. It's fun. It's fun.